Okay, this portion of the tutorial, we learn how can we enter inside the container and can modify any data inside the container. Okay, so if I click Docker PS, our NGINX container is running. If we want to and in our browser, you see 8080 this nginx page is running there if i want to modify the nginx page so if you want to go any container then you click docker exec hyphen it then write your container name then bin slash bash you see the root and here you see your some another information is present there i am now in inside the container if i click ls you see the inside the container folder and in gnx scenario the the html page is user share nginx in the html page if you see the index.html page is present there if i want to modify it beam editor using beam uh, vi <laughs> vi is also not present there uh, nano nano also not present there okay so i write echo how are you our index.html okay so i write a line echo how are, how are you if i go there and you see the i update the information how are you okay so you can enter uh, any container using uh, the command the command is if i write the command if i yeah. exit if i click the exit you are coming to again in your uh, host machine okay so that is the command docker exec hyphen it and then write your container name then enter your uh, using is uh, using the container in bin bash in bash script bash shell okay so then you can modify anything but this is the not a good solution why this is not a good solution that is you update your uh, container uh, information but if you remain uh, if you rest uh, uh, delete this container your updated information also gone that is a not a good solution you need to find a better solution if you container or image remove but your data is not lost okay so here i am showing you another container for redis um, docker redis and you see the redis official image and it's also 1 billion download huge so latest i am to go the image and if i write this hyphen name some redis and need to open a port uh, hyphen p redis default port is 6379 6379 okay so i run this in our terminal you see same scenario redis image is not present there so it unable to find the image then first it download the image uh, from the docker hub and then start the container for us download is working yes okay so if i write docker ps you see redis also showing there 
if I want to go inside the Redis container, the same scenario, docker exec hyphen it and Redis, you can use its name and also use the container ID. If I write the container ID, then bin bash. Okay, you see, you are coming the inside the folder slash data. If I go to the Redis CLI, and you see, I'm now entering in Redis CLI. If I write ping, it's so pong and here the redis is working and i can easily work inside the redis also and it's the perfect now okay so in this portion uh, you learn how can we enter in uh, in existing container using in command and another uh, command i forget to describe you that is if i exit here if you want to restart any container then you need to run docker container restart and my nginx practice i copy it and paste it the container is restarted and now you see yeah how are you it's also showing there so here we learn how to restart container how can we enter inside the container and one important thing we learn if if you know if i delete this container that is docker rm forcefully remove rm hyphen f why i am forcefully removing cause it's also working container if i the uh, start our nginx container again with some name my nginx my hyphen hyphen name my nginx then you see the container is removed another container is running then your modification also deleted from the system the next portion we learned about very interesting portion of docker and very very important part that is the docker volume and here you can learn without our data delete without any deleting data how can we prevent it and we can easily delete any container or image uh, if why uh, so one imp uh, one question in your mind why we deleted container so the main reason is sometimes a, a container is uh, creating some problem uh, container has uh, uh, in internally that is not working perfectly or sometimes a container is compromised by hack hacker that time you need to delete the container so that type of scenario how can you prevent your data so that next portion we learn everything about the docker volume okay bye bye